back to my Mexican kitchen here in Switzerland. Uh, every time I share recipes, I often get feedbacks telling me that they want easy recipes. They like that I share easy recipes. So here's one of those easy recipes. It's the world's easiest spread. You only need three ingredients. It's super crunchy. It's uh, soft in the inside. It's really, really nice, super easy. So let's start baking. The ingredients you need to make your super easy bread are three cups of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of salt, a quarter of a teaspoon of active dry yeast, one and a half cups of hot water. Okay, so let's get started with our super, super easy recipe. You have your dry ingredients, which are the flour, the salt, and the yeast. We're gonna put them all in a bowl. We're gonna give them a whisk with a, with a fork or with anything you have. And then we're gonna add our water. Our water has to be hot, not boiling hot, but definitely hot. And then you're going to mix it with a spatula. You have to make sure that all the ingredients mix well. And yes, you heard me right, a spatula. No kneading in this recipe. That is the best part. There is absolutely no work. You just give it a good mix with your spatula and you're set to go. Once you see that all the ingredients have mixed well, you're gonna cover it with a humid towel or with some plastic wrap and you're gonna let it rest for four hours. That's the only part that's, uh, that you have to wait, but with any good bread, you have to wait. So four hours is all you need to, to have this bread ready and then to pop it in your oven. So let's get started. can see it's not a dough that grows much but it gets very bubbly and that's what we're looking for we want all those bubbles uh, before we go with the next step you're going to have to preheat your oven but for this you also need a Dutch oven that's where we're gonna bake our bread and this Dutch oven is gonna go inside our oven while it's preheating so that it gets very 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 hot the oven is gonna get preheated at 225 degrees Celsius or 437 Fahrenheit while it's preheating, what we're going to do is we're gonna flour a surface and we're gonna scoop our dough out on it. With a scraper or with your hands, you're just gonna fold the dough a few times. Um, once it's been folded that the dough is less sticky, the flour is gonna help it get um, more firm. The dough is super, super sticky, so the flour, that's what it's going to do. Once you have a nice firmer dough, uh, you're going to line your bowl with parchment paper and you're gonna make a ball out of your dough. You're gonna put it in there and you're gonna let it rest for 30 minutes. You can cover it with a wet towel or a damp towel, sorry. And passing those 30 minutes, if your oven has reached the temperature you need, you're gonna transfer your dough, including the paper into your Dutch oven, which is now very hot. You're gonna put the lid on it and you're going to put it back in the oven and bake it for 30 minutes. Passing the 30 minutes, you take your Dutch oven out, you take the lid off, and you're going to take the paper away from the bread. You leave the bread in the, in the Dutch oven, but this time without the lid, and you put it back in your oven for about another 15 minutes. What this is going to do is the bread is gonna get nice and golden and crispy and just how we want it. down for 30 minutes. It's still quite hot, but I'm going to burn my fingers just so I can show you guys the nice crunch it makes when you press on it. Here it goes. It's music, huh? 
And as you saw, it's so easy to make. It's just three ingredients. I mean, water everyone has. The other stuff, it's easy to get. I hope you guys enjoy the recipe. I hope you make it. And something I learned today, I was I like researching and Googling recipes and Googling why things are the way they are. I was interested in knowing why this recipe uses so little yeast. And I learned that breads that develop with such little yeast actually have a nicer flavor. The way the whole recipe starts working, it ends up with a nicer, richer flavor. So now I understand why this bread is so yummy. I hope to see you guys in the next videos. Bye.